Alexis McAllister shook up the international break routine by uploading a photo of himself breathing through an oxygen tube. McAllister is not injured. He is just about to play in arguably the worst away clash in football, a place where Leo Messi vomits on the pitch and Neymar calls the conditions inhumane. Welcome to La Paz, the capital city of Bolivia and the home to Estadio Hernando Siles, one of the most bizarre places to play football. That's because games in Bolivia take place at 3,637 meters above sea level and most humans are not conditioned to live, let alone kick the ball and run for 90 minutes at such altitudes. Headaches, tiredness, nausea and vomiting are just normal bodily reactions to this. Even aliens like Leo Messi can feel the impact. In the previous four games in La Paz, Messi failed to score or assist and only collected one victory. Literally, if there's one way to unsettle Messi, it's to play in Bolivia. In the game between Bolivia and Argentina in 2013, Messi was throwing up on the pitch while his teammate Angel Di Maria asked for an oxygen mask to complete the match. The game ended 1-1. How is that even legal, you may want to ask? Well, in 2007, FIFA did impose a ban on organizing football matches in places situated at 2,500 meters above sea level, which caused an outcry from countries like Bolivia, but also Ecuador and Colombia because they have nowhere else to play. Even Bolivian president at the time, Evo Morales, was joined by Diego Maradona in protest against FIFA's ruling that discriminated against high-altitude nations in the Andes. Under pressure, FIFA did raise the limit to 3,000 meters, but that still wasn't enough for Bolivia's case. So the following day, they made an exception for just one stadium in the world, Estadio Hernando Siles. Over time, the stadium in La Paz became a symbol of the successful Bolivian battle against FIFA. The irony is that when Argentina's head coach at the time, Diego Maradona, took his team to La Paz in 2009, Bolivia annihilated Argentina 6-1 in what is arguably their best game ever. So as Bolivia continued to play in the home stadium, the whole world had to adapt. One way to cope with lack of oxygen is to get more oxygen. Nowadays, footballers use oxygen masks while traveling to Bolivia, like Alexis McAllister did. Players are also given oxygen before games, during games, at halftime and at full time, like the entire Brazil squad did a few years ago. Neymar has some memories from that game inhumane to play in such conditions, at this altitude, on this pitch and with this ball. Everything is bad, Neymar said after that game. It is generally recommended to get to the country as early as possible so the body can have more time to adapt. Ideally, there should be at least one week of acclimatization, but few can afford this luxury in the hectic schedule of modern football. You would think that all of this should be a massive advantage for Bolivia. The answer is yes and no. Opposition indeed struggle to play in La Paz, but the Bolivian national team is a bit too average to take full advantage. Almost exclusively they get all their points in home games. In the qualifying campaign for the World Cup in South Africa, Bolivia only picked up one point away from home compared to 14 points in La Paz. A similar thing happened in the Brazil World Cup qualifiers. Just two defeats and nine points at home compared to six defeats and two points away from home. To give you a bit more perspective, Estadio Hernando Siles was opened in 1930 and it took 35 years for a foreign team to win in that stadium. Argentina beat Bolivia 2-1 in 1965. The stadium isn't just home to Bolivia's national football team but also a big venue for famous musicians. The likes of Guns N' Roses, Megadeth, Bon Jovi and many others have played their Bolivian gigs in Hernando Siles. And how long do you think you would last in this stadium without an oxygen mask? I once almost passed out at 3300 meters, so count me out. If you enjoy stories like this, please like this video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Also hit the bell icon to not miss the next episode and see you in other videos.